so Danielson right here. This is where they are. Emily Sophia is up here. I just have to clear the snow off. Well, it's a little warmer out today, so I came up and this is Emily Sophia Danielson. You can see she was born in 1872. And it may be a little hard to see, but she died in 1918 during the pandemic. And the rest of the graves are still under, you know, the snow here. And then this is Albert Danielson. This was um, one of her, her uh, children. And he was killed in 1929 when his car ran out of gas and he was trying to fill it up and somebody went by inadvertently threw a cigarette out the window while he was pouring gasoline into the tank and he ignited unfortunately so he was dr danielson anyway i came to pay tribute to emily sophia and i'm very sorry that we lost her in the last pandemic and i look forward to someday there's our family tombstone for the Danielsons. I look forward someday to meeting her in heaven. Welcome back. We're over here at our guest house. So we live across the street and then our guest house is here. And you would have seen this on Teen Mom OG. And this is where Farrah and Sophia lived for a little time. And we filmed here often and we filmed across the street, of course the majority of the time. But we've been decorating and doing all kinds of work and I just really have had a good time with the landscaping. Just put in um, a new brick sidewalk and a hitching post. And put the dog on there, we don't have any horses. <laughs> but you can see got lots of work to do here. The sidewalk's all broken up, and so hopefully in the spring, we're going to take that pile of bricks back there, and it's going to become the sidewalk and the patio. And this is David's brewing. So these are things that he's bottled up. Now those jars are being cleansed. So some point today, he brewed up a lot of beer, or excuse, excuse me, bottled up a lot of beer that he brewed over last, usually like it sits in there maybe four to six months and then he goes ahead and bottles it up. He makes all kinds of historic beers, IPAs, but my favorite are the Belgiums, the quads, the duples, the triples, those, those guys, the high caloric ones. It tastes marvelous. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go in here and I'm going to show you some of the things that we've been working on. And hopefully David's cooking supper tonight. Now we're inside at our guest house and I thought it would take a little time to show you some of the stuff that I've been working on and I'm excited. So I've recently had one of my favorite stores in Omaha decide to go through retirement. So I have been buying some store fixtures and this beautiful stained glass here actually came out of a church at Chin antique uh, stained window. That's one of the things I got. And then my uncle who passed away like 40 years ago left me this chair and he left me this rocking chair back here. And for almost 39 years, both of these chairs were sitting in the basement stacked up and just in shreds. So I went ahead and I got some beautiful, this is like lamb's leather, which is super soft. I recommend it. And I put it on both the platform rocker and on this stickly rocker. So got that done this year for our inspiration. And then I love antiques. So got a couple of these, these beautiful chairs here. A friend of mine redid them for me. This is gold leaf. I bought these out of a corn crib long time ago. So 
didn't pay that much for them. But then I had them upholstered. This is drapery upholstery that is from the Jane Seymour collection. And here comes Elsa. Elsa's ready for treats. She's always, always, always ready for a treat. <laughs> and then up here, for those of you who like to brew and you're interested in beer, these are chandeliers. There's two of them. And these came out of the original Ham's Brewery Rats Killer up in uh, St. Paul, Minneapolis. And we have a lot of the memorabilia up here. And I don't know if you can make it out or not, but that's a photograph, the only one in existence, with both chandeliers hung next to each other. They're the only two in existence. They were hand carved in Germany and brought over here. And each face is a Belgian like monk. So those are the folks that know how to brew and they make the best beer in the world, in my opinion, that I love. Now, here's one of the other things I bought from the store sale for the going out of business sale. And it is this magnificent, beautiful, don't you love this thing? So this is like a, a buffet and it is wonderful. So I, I did a little something avant-garde here. I put this in my foyer entryway. I'm boring Elsa. She's had enough. If it doesn't have a treat on it, she's out of here. <laughs> so um, this is our foyer where we greet people and greet our guests. This is the stairway that goes up to the main living area. Elsa's got her jingle bell on. She's really happy. And then I like cow hides, so you'll notice that throughout the house I have cow hides on the floor. I also, in the dining room, if we come straight back here, and this is another interesting chandelier I have. It looks like space junk. I love it. <laughs> and then in here is a cow hide on the table. So we've got a Irish linen tablecloth, and then we got the um, cow hide there. And then for Christmas, this is one of our Christmas gifts. So Farah and Sophia got this for us. And it's Elsa playing the bagpipes, just like David <laughs> wearing his kilts. So it's kind of a fun gift. And then you'll see another sideboard here. And it's also a serving buffet. But I also got this at the sale. And I just love it. I'm just like so excited all of the detail and hand carving. But right now is the time to buy antiques, Victorian antiques, because you know what most people are buying today is from Wayfair and uh, online stores. They're also going and doing a lot of uh, Ikea furniture that you do yourself. So good for me having to furnish this house under those circumstances. It means I got most of this furniture 90% off of what it would have been just a few years ago. Now up here, we have another antique chandelier. So David and I went to Stillwater, Minnesota, and that's where I found this. This is actually, you know, from an architectural salvage firm up in Chicago. <clears throat> and then I also bought this beautiful uh, rug during the sale and I got these two chairs. So I think I did pretty good on that sale. My barn doors there are from France. I'm trying to get them hung up. Just been having a hard time finding somebody who could actually hang them and know what they were doing and feel confident. Uh, one of the other pieces I love is over here by the windows. You'll see this beautiful light I got that from Farrah's um, furniture store down in Austin when she had that. And I loved it because I could put Edison bulbs in it, but then it looks like a fan. So I love that whole thing, that whole vibe. You also see that I have cowhide on the sofa here. So it looks very cowboyish and Victorian. And then in here, this is our little fireplace area, library bar. We got a gas fireplace here, and I got a fireplace fender at the sale. So these were made to be uh, a bench that you sit on around the fire. 
And then in the middle down there is called a fender. So it kind of keeps you away from the, the heat so you don't get burnt. And then some of our hams collection stuff. And David's trophies, he's got, I don't know, at least 100 trophies, beer awards from all of his brewing that he does. And I'm really proud of him for all of his brewing and what he cooks and how he loves to make food. So we'll see if he's in the kitchen and we'll say hi real quick if he is. He was earlier today. There he is. David is hard at it making something wonderful. What are you cooking? Nothing right now. Nothing? What are you going to cook? I don't know. Oh. Anyway, David and I have supper over here quite often. And he's been working on bottling up some beer today. And I think this is maybe some of his... Is this some of your... Um, what do you call it? Cabbage? Or what is that? Cauliflower. Cauliflower. So he does a lot of canning. And he makes a lot of recipes. And the other day he made some killer pancakes with some apple bourbon. Apple bourbon with blueberries in it. And then we poured that over the pancakes. And if he would have had a match, it would have ignited. But it was really delicious. So Elsa likes to eat pancakes and we throw them to her like a Frisbee. Anyway, on our next visit, I'll take you upstairs. There's two other floors. And when we go up there, you can see the different bedrooms and some of the quilts that are handmade by um, David's mom. And they are magnificent. I'm so grateful that I got those um, when she passed away. But anyway, have a beautiful Happy New Year. And we'll show you a little bit more about my decorating, my inspiration, and hopefully you'll get some ideas. Thanks. Have a great day.